balling ideas. I got one here. How about Brendan shoves his dick down Brian's throat every Monday, <laughs> chapter seven? Do you like that? Or would you like to switch that chapter? What do you want to do? You're so disrespectful. That's we so we could go chapter 10. Brian pulls, <laughs> Brendan pulls down Brian's pants whenever he wants and slaps him on his stupid old ass. Do you know my friend did that to his, the guy who was fucking, he was friends with a guy who was an actor, a soap actor, and he's like a, just a monster like you. And, he, and his, <laughs> he, he found out the guy was fucking his girlfriend. So he, he, pulled his, he pulls his truck up to him. The guy gets out. He goes, all right, let's make a big deal. And he pulls him and. By the way, another story that's fake that you heard somewhere else that he's regurgitating and making it seem like his own story. I don't believe it. Pulls, I told you this. Yeah, pulls yeah. His pants nothing down, worse. Spank nothing more embarrassing. Yeah, I'll do that to you right now. No, you never spank me. There, there are certain things that I know because I, I'm familiar with the language, right? What language, Brian? Striking, kicking. <laughs> Hey, hey you're, <laughs> hey, you're as familiar with the language of jiu-jitsu and striking as I am Mandarin. It ain't good. What? Did he meant to say Mandarin? He said Mandarin. Mandarin. Did he try to say Mandarin? Is that what he tried to say? Mandarin. What? Language of jiu-jitsu and striking as I am Mandarin. Oh. Hey, man. Why I always say this show is fun and these streams are fun is because this is always a reminder to all of you out there, no matter what you're pursuing in your life, never, ever count yourself out. This guy is a multimillionaire. He lives in a fresh Prince Bel-Air type house. He has a wife that doesn't work, kids that go to private school, drives fancy cars and has fancy shoes. And he legitimately can't speak English, even though English is his first language. Up, Keith. Brian thought it was cool be friends with a UFC fighter. Baba thought Brian could get him Rogan. Even this friendship is built on a weak foundation. Oh. <laughs> Great point. Yeah, true. Do you remember early episodes of, of T-Fight K? How obsessed B Brian was was asking Brendan about his body, how much he trains. You remember early on, I think Brian Brendan had a chat with him to tell him to chill out. But yeah, you're right. Brian got his uh, he's got his USC, you know, live action figure in Brendan, and Brendan got a chance to be befriend Rogan, and then fucked it up. Brendan did the worst. Like Brendan managed to be friends with Rogan. Even though Rogan is closer friends with Brian, Brendan managed to get in front of Ro Brian Callen. He managed to worm his way in between Brian Callen and Rogan, be one of Rogan's best friends, have some of the highest amount of, or the highest amount of solo appearances on the JRE. And then he fucked it all up by opening his big fat mouth. Oh yeah, I know, I know bald guys that slang dick. <sighs> poetic, absolutely poetic. You're as familiar with the language of jiu-jitsu and striking as I am Mandarin. It ain't good. This I was I was a wrestler. No, hey, and I'm hey. a black. I don't. I like how he doesn't correct him as well. He said Mandarin, Mandarin. Black no, belt. hey. And you, I continue hey, to train. Black belt and what? Taekwondo. <laughs> hey. But also I box. Yeah, yeah. No, dude, I took French and for sparred. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't count. Hey, I took French for four years and in high school. I continue to train. Yeah, kind of, right? At least once a week. Sure, man. All right. Whatever gets your rocks off. Some moves. No, you got some moves, man. Now, does this part of my wrist and this part of my thing hurt a lot? Yeah. Sore? Yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of sore on me. Does this knee not right since <laughs> I took one boxing class with my shoes off? Yeah. All right. Hey man, listen up, dude. Okay? Listen up, all right? Hey, 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 get your butt. Get oh, your hand. Take my Rolex all right. off. All right? Dude. All right. Yeah, get your hand. Get, look, hey, this is, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm standing there. Be cool. Be cool, dude. Don't be cool, bro. Be cool. Ah, shit. Be cool, dude. All right, it's all good, right? Is today Wednesday? Yeah. Is it? 
Oh, I'm going to spank you today. Oh, gosh. Look, it's Wednesday, and I feel like spanking you. <laughs> no. Yeah, dude. Spanking me? Yeah. So here we go. Yep, do it. Here we go. Yep, do it. I'm going to break things. Uh, okay, so that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> okay. I'll snap that off right now. <laughs> that's, that's not good. That's not good. So, so what you want to do, guys, is this. Go Keep ahead. that here. Keep Couldn't that here. Nope. Couldn't break that. Couldn't break that. Where do you want to go, Daddy? Where do you want to go? You know what's funny? It would be really funny if you actually did accidentally snap his arm. They, th th that's what they actually deserve. They actually deserve that. They deserve that. They deserve that. That would actually be the funniest thing ever. If he just accidentally just snapped his arm. <laughs> that would be brilliant to see. <laughs> Big up Fyodor. Prediction. Brandon loses his house because he accidentally paralyzes someone in his studio. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. He's such a oaf and he's so full of anger as well because a lot of this as well, let's be let's be real, people. People, let's be real. Yes, it's an attempt to go to go viral. Yes, we know it's an attempt to get some clicks and whatever. But we know why they're doing this, isn't it? We know why they're doing this, isn't it? Papa's doing this to remind the haters and the trolls that he could kill them with his bare hands. That's why they're doing this shit. It's like that. It's like it's like your you know it's like your neighbor or your friend in your area deciding to fucking shadow box in front of the house and shit to show off that oh yeah they know how to fight and stuff. That's what they're basically doing. He's doing this as a you know as a signal as a signal to maybe me to maybe unique to ladies to try. Right, <laughs> podcast cringe, comedy enforcement. He's he's letting us know, hey, I could break all your bones in your body <laughs> if you make fun of the way I say words, or if you if you make fun of how I pronounce certain words. That's what he's basically doing. This isn't for anybody else, but the haters and the trolls. Thank you. Oh, you got me on that. Are you got me on that? You got me on that. You got me on that. No, 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 no. See. See, see that? One more. Yeah, come on. Meanwhile, the comedy store is on and popping. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Skate things. Exactly. Skate things. It's fucking exactly. The comedy store is in and popping, and look at what they're doing. Is that Tim Dillon and Bill Burr? No way. Look at the all. Bapa cancelled his UK tour, so when he runs up on you, you won't be expecting it. <laughs> exactly. He's just gonna get me behind my neck and choke me out. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Look at this. Look at this. Let me show you this. Uh, where is it? Callan sort revenge. That one, yeah. There you go. Let's let's move this around here. Yo, big up. Sanguine. They don't have health insurance, Rams. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Chin is probably having. Imagine what Chin is feeling like seeing this now. Chin's probably having PTSD, heart palpitations and all sorts. Chin's going crazy watching this in the background. He's probably like, oh my fucking God. Chin is hating this right now. Chin is hating every part of this. He must be. I, was, I swear to God he is. <laughs> Brian is Brendan's handler. <laughs> oh God. One second. Bear with me a second. Bear with me a second. What's I going to do here? Oh yeah, cool. Let's go to the comedy store. Let's look at the picture. Oh, look at all these celebrities that have been there since we last checked. This is a new picture, right? Yeah, new picture. Who's this? Who's that in the picture? Ari Shafir, Jetski Johnson, Emily... L Who's this? Emily Luford, Miranda, Meadows. Everybody is... Literally, everyone is there while... Look at that. Bill Burr and who's that guy again? Just Adam Myers. While they're... While these guys are playing literal touch butt in the fucking T5K studios, look what's happening here. I don't know who these people are. Who are they? Sklar Brothers, Adam Ray, someone called Framos Comedy, the guy from Kill Tony, right? Cam, George, uh, that, that's the George I remember from uh, Joey Diaz's thing, Red Band, Red Band again. Red Band kind of, Red Band kind of looks like, Red Band kind of looks like Brendan, isn't it? No? Red Band's got a bit of Brendan about him, isn't it? It kind of looks a bit like Brendan, isn't it? A little bit like Brendan. Or am I, or am I being redacted here? 
Hmm. Josh Wolf is there. Is that Whitney? Whitney Cummins is there. Oh, Whitney Cummins is Mummy Milk is looking delightful there. Nice to see. Um look at all these people, bro. Oh my god, no one like I said before in the other stream, no wonder they're so depressed. No wonder literally the whole of the LA comedy scene, past and present, descended on LA because of the Netflix thing. Um, what's his name again? Godfrey. The other guy's called Comedian Tricks. I don't know who these people are, but they seem like they're having a good time. Little baddie there in the alleyway. Look, who's, who's that baddie? Oh, that's that woman that used to help um, Neil Brennan, isn't it? Do you guys remember her? Who's this person again? Do you remember? I think she was, wasn't this Neil Brennan's co-host, ex-co-host? I forgot her name. Do you guys remember? What's her name? I, get, I think that's her, right? Am I mistaken? I think that's her. Who's this person? I don't know. Oh, I don't, I don't remember him, but I, I remember his face. This person looks like this person looks like they could be Ann, Annie Lederman's sister, isn't it? This person here looks like they could be Annie Lederman's sister. I don't know who it is, but they look like they're having fun. Look at smiles everywhere. Everyone having a fucking blast, while these guys are literally playing touch button in the studio. Damn, son. Damn. Got another one. Oh, look. There's that. There's that guy that you know he didn't realize he raped somebody, but he's told the story online. Remember that was a fucking funny. What's his name again? When he got cancelled. Brad Williams, remember, he shared a story about how, I think he was with Carlos Mencia. Carlos Mencia had some girl go go into his room. The girl was told Carlos Mencia is coming up in a minute. And then the lights were off in the room, though. He snuck in, fucked her, without telling her, no, he's not Carlos Mencia. <laughs> Which is basically rape. Oh. <laughs> Uh, he's so fucking <laughs> he's a wild boy man wild fucking boy oh wild boy big up brad williams <clears throat> another guy again that's a, the cam dude someone called sad man look at everyone that's there wow comedy store is popping off bro popping off and these guys are literally paying touch butt in the studio. <clears throat> All weekends been popping off. Who's this person? Don't know. Simply Don. Tony Hinchcliffe there. Bill Burr there with Whitney. No wonder they're so depressed. Look at that. Look at all the laughs. Look at all the jokes. All the smiles. No wonder they're so depressed. <clears throat> Josh Wolf. Forgot his name again. Oh yeah, Ali Sadiq. Derek Poston, Adam Ray. Where's Brendan and Brian, though? Where's Brendan and Brian? Where's Brendan and Brian? Oh, Jesus Christ, Whitney. Look at those mummy milkers. God damn, son. Save some milk for the children. Save some milk for the children. <laughs> and then you got a clip here with Tim Dillon and Bill Burr. And Post Malone wondering. Who love comedy but are prone to bouts of FOMO, I'd maybe be careful with the next 90 seconds. We're on day like 8 or 9 of the Netflix is a joke festival. Who could keep track anymore? Every day ends at 3 a.m. Local badass Annie Letterman brought Annie Wood to the main room with guests like George Perez, Tim Dillon, and Bill Burr. Along with some secret guests. But shh, it's secret. You can't. Upstairs, Justin Martindale packed the belly room with his podcast Just Saying, And he also had some secret guests, including the very mysterious cheese ball man always good to see cheese ball man around oh, no, half no, past okay, eight nice. our unbeatable nightly or lineup of regulars started highlighted by performances by comedy legend argus hamilton sam J, bobby lee and whitney cummings who just had a baby and looks great rapper slash comedian ti surprised everyone upstairs oh, wow. in the belly room and dropped into crack em up thursdays which nice. was absolutely packed i've never seen that many people in one room and then ari shafir's renamed storytelling show closed out the main room with appearances by robert kelly Tony Hinchcliffe, who just sold out the Kia Forum, Big J Okerson, and Shane Gillis, who dropped in after selling out the Crypto Arena nice. or the Staples Center, depending on how old you are. Oh, and then Post Malone casually rolled through to catch the end of Ari's show. We got three more days of festival left, probably, something like that, and it shows zero signs of slowing down. So get your ass out to the comedy store. It's only getting better. Yeah, right. Fuck. <laughs> Post Malone is there. Posty as as fucking Brendan Shaw would like to call him. Fucking Posty. 
He's currently there, huh? And those guys aren't there. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how that must feel? Can you imagine how that must feel? She. I'd be fucking dead. I'd be fucking dead. But anyway, let's move on. Let's go back to the video. It's Wait. Wednesday. Hands on it. I'm going to slap your stupid yeah. ass. You're not going to slap me. Nobody slaps me, bro. I just slapped you. Okay, you do, it's you Wednesday. Do you want it on Thursday? Yeah, no, no, we're good. We're good. I mean, you, know, you got me a couple times. But you saw me stop it. You saw me stop it. Fuck, I had those, I had those underhooks. He's out, he's breathing, they're breathing so heavily. Oh, That's a <laughs> Hold on, let me just, come here. I want to see something. Let's tutorial. All right, watch this, guys. Why do you do so, this to yourself? Come here. So what I did there, guys, was I had this. Now, the mistake I made was creating distance. Mistake you if made? I'm here, now he's going to have a hard time, right? You good there? And don't you think? You think? stay there? <laughs> so I'm just going to create more space. See, see what I did? Pulled out. So, 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 pulled out there. But now you don't have now the under. his hands here. Boom. Nope. Okay. Okay. Good. That's good. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Danny? Okay. What are you doing? So here we go, guys. Jesus so here, good, 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 good. Now look how I'm Break sitting there. Grip. Sit down. Turn. Wait. Let me show. Brian, you've got two toddlers at home. You've got two kids under the age of like four, and a wife you just married. Like you're gonna potentially fuck yourself up and have your wife not having to having your wife look have to look after you and your two kids because you decided to play grab ass with a very heavy handed bean cheese wine cheese bean <laughs> exactly. cheese wine cheese <laughs> exactly exactly like what the fuck is this guy doing bro like what's he doing really what's he doing to the camera hold on nope so guys look nope. turn your head this way yep all right now sit sit out Sit out here. Yep. All right, guys, and just stay calm. Look how I'm. Look what I'm doing with his legs. <laughs> Mrs. Crowder B. Mrs. Crowder B. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Touch. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Mrs. Crowder. Oh, what the fuck are they doing? Like, look. Look at this. What the fuck is this? Should we like leave? Do you think we should leave them in privacy? In some sort of privacy or something like that? We shouldn't be here, should we? I don't think we should be here. Look at this. Is that Kizomba? Like, what are they doing? No, just lay down. Calm. Stay calm. Stay calm. Okay. And we stay calm. Now, now this is where it is. No, no, no. Don't call me a stupid bitch. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? I'm going to my arm. Oh, what the fuck was that? What was that sound? Did something crack? Oh, what are you going? I'm going to my arm. Don't call me a stupid bitch. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? I'm going to my arm. You almost got rolled. Nope. You almost got rolled. Well, we don't have. I don't have room here. But look. So, guys, this is street, dude. Controlling this. Controlling this. He's got it out, that okay. Out. Okay. That's all right. Okay. A lot of pressure there. There's, There's some pressure there. there. There's some pressure there. <laughs> hey, ref! Ref, he's calling me a stupid fish. <laughs> now just look at this. Stay calm. You got to admit, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. This pressure's not good though. I mean, no, but, yeah, but... See how you want to move? Yeah, but, That's all I want. No. Yeah, but I can't... I don't have a mat, dude. I know, me neither. Okay. Okay, no. Yeah. There's not enough room. There's not enough room. No. Hey! There's not enough room. Hey! Get your head out. Yeah, let's get our head out. No! No. No, see what I did? Yep. Now watch this, guys. Oh, God. Oh, that was to be fair, I think I think um I think Keith T is kinda right. He's meant to be a black belt, isn't it? He's meant to be a black belt, allegedly. Not really, obviously, because he's a fake black belt. He just got one given to him because he asked for it. 
but if he's meant to be a black belt, why is he so out of breath? Why is he not in any, why is he not really like doing what he wa- like not doing control? Why he's got like a a hundred pounds plus on Brian, and you know, he doesn't look that impressive. It's my respect. All right, don't panic here. Don't panic here. How's the triangle defense? All right. Not fun, not fun. Didn't he tap? All right. Didn't he tap? Okay, not warmed up. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, that's pretty good. Jesus Christ. Right, uh, so I made a mistake. I made a mistake. All right. <laughs> Why would you do like? Is this what happens when you grow up without like a father figure? Like the father was there, but probably didn't like communicate with him too much. Is this what happens when you when you grow, when you grow up without one? You have this like weird like. In fact, like what is like what what are you doing? Bra- Brendan isn't the the safest person to roll with. He's going through whatever he's going through. He might take out some of his frustration with Unique on you. You're an old man. Because Brian probably feels like he's 30, but he's 60 plus. Or maybe, I don't know, whatever. He's 60. He's, he's, he's either late 50s or 60s. He doesn't realize the limitations of his body. He thinks he's like this sprite. He thinks because he gets boners that he's still in his mid 30s. It's like, even though you want to fuck, it doesn't mean you can handle. 150 pound plus no 250 pound plus former ufc heavyweight you know practicing his jiu-jitsu he hasn't practiced in, in a while on you that's the thing yeah big up matt i appreciate you big up saws just quit my job i'm yeah. betting on myself be nothing better than watching elder abuse <laughs> so big up matt right now. <laughs> I just quit my job and bet on myself. Thank you for joining us, brother. That's amazing. I love it. But keep your head up, brother. I hope hopefully it works out whether you do betting on yourself. Um hopefully your betting on yourself works out better than how Brian has bet on himself with his jujitsu skills. Because this it looks painful, bro. But big up Matt Randazzo. Big up Matt Randazzo. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, see that? Yeah. That's called an escape. I let you out. I got you. I got escaped. Yeah. yeah. Exactly escape thing. The Netflix thing has him ready to crash out. That's what's happened, isn't it? Netflix has got Brian like this. Netflix has made Brian like this. Let's go on a story. I should check the story. Netflix has kind of fried Brian's brain. Let's go on their stories. Okay, nothing so far. By the way, do you guys watch any of uh, Kim Kondong's content? Doesn't she have a... What's, what's she have? Horrible... Is it horrible... What's it called again? Guys, we fucked. Do you guys watch that? <sighs> when they come on... When they came on Rogan, I found the vocal fry, like, exhaust... I already listened to one vocal fry podcast called Red Scare, but Kim Kondong's vocal fry and her friend... The vo- I couldn't do it, bro. I couldn't do it. The vocal fry was too much. It was just too much, bro. I know. Um, yeah. Anyway, so are you guys comatose? The vocal fry on Red Scare podcast is a lot, but after you, you know, get used to it, the girls are pretty interesting, Anna and Dasha, I think. But I don't know. Funny Voices, Ron Funches is going to be there. And they got another show for Kevin Smith called Cuck Life, you know. That's hilarious. But yeah, Scapings is right. Netflix is a joke has got Brendan, or Brian mostly, ready to fucking crash out in a serious, serious way. We don't have a... Are you going to be on the bottom? We don't have a, we don't have a mat. Oh, shit. Oh, mat. <laughs> we don't have a mat. Don't call me a bitch, dude. Who is that? Who do you like? Blood Brood. Who do you like? Sarah Wine. Who's who's Sarah Wineshank? What's her name? Sarah Wineshank. Who the fuck is that? 
Sarah Wine. Oh, this girl, right? You like her? You think this girl's bad? Who's it? Oh, that's the girl. She does a show. Okay, cool. Oh, she she does. She's a bit bigger in it now. Okay, I I didn't recognize her. Oh shit. Okay, cool. Fair play. Where's she from? Los Angeles, California. Sarah Wanshank. Eh, all right. Fair enough. We've all we've all got our preferences. Is that is that is that her hub? Oh, she goes out with um Adam Eager. Is that Adam Eager? Her boyfriend is Adam Eager. <laughs> That's amazing. That's an instant career. Big up her, man. Smart girl. Smart fucking girl. If there's somebody's dick you have to suck in the comedy industry, that's a good one to suck, isn't it? That's a good one to give a tug to. The guy that does the bookings at the comedy membership and before at the comedy store. I'd love to know what he thinks about Brendan. I'd love to know what he thinks about Brendan. I would love to ask other me, hey, Adam, what do you think it would take for Brendan to get back in a comedy store? Or to get back in the, or to get, oh, the mothership actually, forget the comedy store. What would it take to give Brian Callen a weekend headlining gig there, please? Why would you pick Eric Griffin over Brian Callen? <laughs> I'd love to hear what he has to say about it. He probably would have some interesting opinions. Okay. That's that's Sarah Wayne Wayne Shank. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of her to be fair. I don't really, okay. I might watch her fucking Are You Garbage though. That's what they usually do the best interview. So maybe I'll watch that to get a better idea who she is. What are you doing? Trying to grab my legs? I'm just chilling, looking for a good time. You've been triangle choked in some dust. I'm not gonna lie, the Kim Kondong thing. I understand she's like a hot Hispanic lady. I get it, and as a for a comedian, she's like you know, especially for a female comedian. But you know what? This is this is gonna be sad to say because it's kind of like similar to the guys with the whole um, oh shit. There's one with a boob there. This is similar to the the one. But you know why I kind of got off her a little bit. Luis J. Gomez. They were, they were, they, they used to go out, right? They were boyfriend and girlfriend at one point. Like, I don't know. I can't. you like, you know, like, Luis, like, you dated Luis J. Gomez. The guy looks like he stinks of piss. Do you know what I mean? No offense to the guy. He looks like he baths in fucking urine. Legitimately. Uh, the kind of guy that wears, like, I don't know. What's that? What's that aftershave? The green one. Like, is it Axe body spray or something? That that kind of guy, do you know what I mean? He's the kind of guy that that, that after a gym session, he, he doesn't shower. He just sprays himself in Axe body spray. <sighs> yeah, I'm all right, man. I'm good on that. But she seems she seems funny. People seem to like her. Um, Stand-up-wise, her clips online, the comments are always super mean, boy. I think I've, I've, I think I checked out one YouTube video of her performing stand-up and people were not fond of her when it comes to the comments. But yeah, the Lucia Gomez connection is like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But hey, everyone's got their preferences. You donkeys? Yeah. Oh, shit. There you go. There you go. There it is. All right. Oh, man. What did you do? What? Who called her Old Spice? Who called her Old Spice? Nah, that's too mean, bro. Old Spice. <laughs> I put the pressure here. Yep. Fuck. That's good. Hold oh, on. All right. Go ahead. Okay, let's get, come on. Let's start heavy one. No, just start heavy one. No. Go. <laughs> go. You start heavy one. Go ahead. It came out, Luis. She looks like a Mexican boy to me. <laughs> In Mexico, she looks like a Mexican boy. <laughs> really? <laughs> Maybe here. Maybe, yeah. Maybe she does look a bit like a Mexican boy. She looks like a Mexican boy. <laughs> nah, she's cute, man. You can't say she looks like a Mexican boy. She's a good-looking girl. What? 
she was sexually assaulted by a fan in New York. What's this story? Holy shit. Niggas in the stage, niggas in the crowd are getting handsy, yeah? Yo, being a female comedian is mad. You got to stave off the, you know, the, the, the hounds in the store that might touch you and the fans. What is it? What happened here? If you saw me kick a guy's ass after the show last night, Oh yeah, she does. She does Muay Thai, doesn't she? Doesn't she do Muay Thai or something? If you saw me kick a guy's off after the show, I'm sorry. He sexually assaulted me after my set and bragged about it on his way out, ruining an otherwise perfect night. I'm only tweeting this as a warning. I'll be carrying from now on. Next guy dies. <laughs> I like that. Can't believe I have to say this, but I would not tweet or make a fuss about someone grazing me by accident. I'm not out to get or accuse anybody. This man poked me in my vagina twice, essentially trying to finger me through my leggings when I walked by him. What the fuck? It happened the second I got off the stage at a sold out theater and in seconds he was gone in the dark crowd. By the time they found him in the show, it was almost over. He didn't care he was being kicked out because he said at least I got to touch Kim's pussy. <laughs> Honestly, people that go to comedy shows are fucking psychotic. Excuse me? This has been an eye-opening experience that hurt me but made me sad for victims who've been through much worse. It sucks that I have to explain all of this. It's embarrassing. I don't consider myself a woke comic. I'm not political. I just want to do stand-up and not be fucking molested. That's a pretty <laughs> decent request, isn't it? That's pretty fair. I just want to do stand-up and not be fucking molested. Yo, was it oh, well, NJ Ranger? Was it Joey Diaz? <laughs> uh, tried to finger me through my leggings. Yo, okay, in 2022, Whew, she's been through it, ain't it? Fucking hell. Okay. You going out? All right, let's just mount up here. Oh, guys, Jesus Christ, Brian enjoyed that, innit? Almost like he was putting his hand behind there, sticking the dick in and stuff, isn't it? Brian enjoyed that, innit? The way he sat down. Okay. You going mount? All right, let's just mount up here. Oh, he enjoyed that, innit? Resting on it, right? Fucking hell, innit? Ass hold that grips. Okay. You going mount? All right, let's just mount up here. Ass hold that grips. <laughs> Guys, let's move away from All right. this. Oh, that's good. All right. Okay. No, 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 I don't like this because I know what you're going to do. No, I'm not doing anything. No, no, I don't like this. No, go I ahead. It hurt. I'm going to mount. No, there's no... No, do your mount. Do your mount. I'm giving you a mount. I'm not really hitting, but I'm showing you guys what you can do to really mess with this. Mess with this fucking... You're trying to check my fucking... Yeah. I'm giving you a mount for free. <clears throat> See, I I'm turn your mouth. Turn back. Right, turn back. Right, turn back. Notice how I'm checking all of them. I'm not fucking him up. Nope. A good douche. Show me your mouth. Size is psyche. Did you watch Cat's new special yet? If you review it on Patreon, that would be sick. Cat's new special. Oh yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did. Yeah, Sunday, 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 Sunday. It's on there. It's on there. It's on there. There you go. Cat Williams work for us on there. It's 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 on there. Check. Oz, did you see the stunner girl fan spank that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Of course, that was brilliant.
He was not apologetic at all. He was not apologetic. He did not give a fuck. He was almost like, what did he say? I think he said something like, oh. Everyone else smacks her bumps. Why can't I? Yeah. Yo, damn. Kid, tell me why this nigga go out, single me out like I did something wrong. With, but fucking see, you see five different ass niggas slapping ass. Slapping his bitch ass, brother. You yeah. Gonna, you gonna single me out because I'm a hood nigga. Listen, yeah. Don't pick and choose with me, brody. <laughs> Bro, like a proper grimy dude. He was not sorry at all. Even though he got rushed and beaten up by Stunner Girl's husbands, friends and stuff. He was not apologetic at all. He was really not apologetic. Kind of disgusting. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, big up Stunner Girl's husband for absolutely kicking his head in. Here's Mount skills, guys. So Mount. Mount here, right? Now. Bad See position he's, for he's me. He's good here. Ayo, hey, Sarlux, you fucking cunt. Sarlux, where are you? Where's the Sarlux comment? This was back when AZ used to like the show. Okay, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna look. You know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm gonna get a video. I'm gonna try and find a video, an episode where it was funny and we're gonna watch that back. That's, yeah, that's what we're gonna do actually. Fuck these new episodes. I'm gonna go back into the archives and see if I can find an episode I actually enjoyed and we're gonna watch it and we're gonna see if you guys don't enjoy it. You can't lie either. We're gonna watch it together and we're gonna see if you guys don't because it was good, honestly. People in the chat can attest to it. T5K used to be good, man. It wasn't always this. It wasn't always elder, you know, humps fucking young twink. It wasn't like that. It was quite a good fun show for a very short period, but it was good. So I'm gonna prove it to Sarlux and a few of the haters out there, a few of the doubters. I'm gonna prove it to you. I'll prove it, I'll prove it. I'll I'll find a really funny one. Hopefully, I'll find it. <laughs> and we'll rewatch really it on here. But bad position, because what I do here is I'm here. It's tight. Watch it. Also, am I am I am I a little bit like um am I reading too much into it? Is this also as much as I think it's a like a little signal from Brian, Brendan especially, to remind the haters that you can beat everybody up. Is this also like a weird like mating dance thing for Sanaz? Sanaz. I just thought about it now. They never did this when she was when she wasn't here. It's just like a weird thing. You know when boys do when like a girl's around, they start fucking who like pretend fighting. Is that what they're kind of doing to like impress her? Here, watch your turn. All right, now, now I'm just gonna ride him real hard so he feels this right now. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure. See that? That's called Saturday Night Ride. That's yep. wrestling. Now he's gonna try to break it. Yep. No problem. Out, right? That's okay. Stay here, guys. Out. Stay here, guys. Stay here, guys. Stay here, guys. Look at how heavy I am, my hips. He's panicking right now. He doesn't like this, does he? Now watch this. Let me show you this. So I'm here. I can be here. Get one hand here, one hand here, and it works. <laughs> nope. Okay, so he blocked it. Okay. He blocked it. Okay. That's not bad, but you saw my move. I saw it. Right? <sighs> Okay, now look, 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 this is, look at this now, keep your face. I'm not going to lie, I don't know jujitsu, I'm not really an expert, but whoever said it earlier, I think it was Keith or somebody else, Brendan's not really that impressive on a, I know they're fucking around, Brendan's not really that impressive, isn't it? He's meant to be a black belt, former jujitsu, grappling's meant to be his forte, and he's not that good, is he? Brian with his like weekend jujitsu classes is yeah big up appreciate you son okay Oz but one without a guest yeah okay <laughs> yeah. oh that's a bit oh that's a challenge that's a challenge find a good old episode of T Fat K that doesn't have a guest oh that's gonna be hard that's gonna be hard that's gonna be a tough one <laughs> it's a shame snaz beak is eight inches now nah, but she's still good she's still a good looking girl I, I think it's just she's just persian and i think persian women have a different you know beauty whatever the makeup thing she puts a lot of makeup on and whatever that probably doesn't help but she's a beautiful girl i think so i, I think she's good looking and she seems to have a good personality. She likes, likes for the guys that like, I, I'm not really, you know, it's not really my thing, but I know there's some guys that like girls that like sports and shit. 
She likes sports. She seems pretty chill. She's cute. She's, you know what I mean? I think so. I think she's cute. I think she's cute, personally. But again, maybe some people, it's a nose. They just can't handle it. But she's Middle Eastern, isn't it? What do you expect? And keep your leg here. We're good here. We're good. Just break the grip for the arm bar. That's the problem. Oh, no. Let's give him some room. <laughs> So now you got room for your See arm See the problem bar. with a black belt? Break the grip. Is they... Break the what grip. What you do... You can't break the grip here, but what you can do... That's not good. Ah, that's not good. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay, watch my knee, watch my knee. That's my bad knee. Jesus Sorry, Christ. That's good. See, so you Jesus gotta watch out for your arm. Christ. All right, that's good, my good, bad training. Knee. good, good training. training. Good training. Good training, man. Good training, good training. Good training, good training. We'll wait till the mats are here. You look at the top of Brian's eye. Yeah, did we have a first aid kit? No. no. Did I get hit? No, it's just a, it's a scratch. It's a rug burn. Oh, I see. Brian, can you come closer to the camera? No. Look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this, just look at this fucking animal did to me. Oh, my goodness. I want to talk to somebody. It's Where a rug burn. I just seen a comment somebody left on the video that I made about the stand-up comedian Oopsie Doopsie, about the girl that, you know, insinuated that maybe Chris Alea touched her or something. I, I, I'm glad I'm not this kind of person. I don't think like this. She's 18. What the fuck is the problem other than she's drinking at 18? If anybody should be in trouble, it should be the club for serving her drinks. Is that your defense? You want to down that hill? She's 18. How old are you? That's the question. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's 18. <laughs> okay. But how old are you? Fucking you know? hell. Look at that shit. I gotta go home and scare my kids now. Dude. I didn't have the couch in the way from my arm bar, but... You saw how my knees were together? Dude, you always had that arm bar. Yeah. Your setup was good? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll we're gonna lay the mats out. So a lot of it's just repetition, guys. Just a lot of reps. Did you feel that strength? A thousand out. I did, dude. Good, good, good. It's good, though, you... Could have gotten my Sometimes head. that's all you need to wake up. The heavy breathing. You got to have a little both. wake up call. Jesus gotta... Christ, bro. He is gassed out, isn't it? Ozempic doesn't help with your cardio, isn't it? He is gassing. <gasps> Says <Set> some reps. <laughs> Bre Brendan thought he could fucking hard work himself to become funny. Remember that? Brendan thought he could just hard work himself to become funny. You hard work himself to Chappelle level. If I do enough sets and reps, I'm going to be funny. It doesn't work like that, bro. <laughs> sets and reps. Fuck off. You got to poke the bear. I'll tell you what I didn't like is that transition to the triangle. Now, that was bullshit. I know better I know. than that. I know. I know better. And I I, know. I came out and I put myself in the, in the triangle know. like an asshole. Snuggy, but snuggy. that's just because I'm not, you know. Oh, no, so fresh, and I went dumb. from triangle tap to the arm no, tap. No, I, I was oh. going to pull out. I should have kept my head on the other side mm. and pulled you this way. But I wanted to get, I wanted to get busy. That was, that, was a, that was a white belt move to go into the triangle mm. like that. Smooth. Just know this, guys. That will never happen again. Never. Not Can never. Can I be honest with you? On, on one thing, you get, you get one of those on me once. Okay. I'm a quick study. You tell me where you want to start, pal. Like Wolverine, I learn shit quick, dude. The Wolverine heals quick, you old fuck. So, 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 uh, fighting bulls, fighting bulls learn quick. <laughs> we learn quick. I just see your 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 mark, Brian. I have a mark. Yeah. And I'm sweating. Yeah. All that all it takes is that. I'll show you the mark. You for a young spring chicken? Not bad. Not bad, man. No, another ten to fifteen years. You think? Yeah, I think we could enter into white belt tourney. By the time I'm 80, I want to be able to dunk a basketball. That's my Oh, dude, that'd be sick. Goal. Oh, they're, they're both so tired. Fuck with me just because I got mad that John asked you to do a competition. Uh, yeah, that's true. 